Welcome to the lesson where we'll be looking at how to estimate calculations without a calculator. So stay tuned. For this topic, you need to know how to round numbers to significant figures. And if you're not able to do that, then you can look back at the video on the Maths Coach channel. Right, we're going to go through three different examples here. Let's start with looking at this one. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be rounding each of these numbers to one significant figure and then we'll be adding them together. This can be easily done without a calculator. So this symbol here I will be using looks similar to an equal sign, but it's a, it's a sign, it's a symbol for estimation. Right, so 310 to one significant figure is 300, and 876 to one significant figure is 900. And our answer is equal to 1200. Let's look at the second example. This time we're multiplying both numbers. Again, we will round each number to one significant figure. Okay, so 6,560 to one significant figure is going to be 7,000. And we're gonna times that with 1.97 rounded to one significant figure, and that will change to two. So 7,000 times two is 14,000. You can quite easily do that by doing seven times two, and that gives you 14. And because there's three zeros at the end, you can just add the three zeros on. Let's go through the third example now. This one's a little bit more trickier because we have addition and a division together. So when we're doing this um, calculation here, we think of bid mass, and we always work out what's on the numerator first before we divide, right? Because this is, there's invisible brackets here. So 68.8 to one significant figure is 70 plus 27.3 to one significant figure and that is 30 divided by 23.7 to one significant figure is 20. Now we can add the numerator together and that gives us 100 divided by 20 and that will give us five as our answer. I would like you to try now these three questions here. Pause the video and have a go, and when you're ready, press play. Let's go through the first question now. So I'm going to round each of these numbers to one significant figure. This time I've added a square root into the question. So we're gonna round each of these numbers to one significant figure. So 38.6 to one SF is 40, plus 56.3 to one SF, which is 60, and we keep the square root divided by 1.678 to one SF, which is two. Now we're going to add the 40 and the 60 together, which gives us 100, and the square root of 100, square root meaning a number times by itself, the same number gives you 100, and we know that's 10. And then 10 divided by two gives us five. Let's have a look at question two now. So we're gonna round each of these numbers again to one SF. So 13.7 to one SF is 10, times by 5.2 to one SF, which is five, divided by 12.3 to one SF, which is 10, divided by 3.9, to one SF, which is four. Okay, so now we can work out what's on the numerator, 10 times five, which is 50. 10 divided by four is 2.5. Right, so now we need to work out what 50 divided by 2.5 is. And how can we do that? Well, we can quite easily get rid of the decimal point by multiplying the numerator by 10 and the denominator by 10. If we do that, the 50 will become 500 and the 2.5 will become 25. Yep. So with fractions, what we do to the top, we have to do to the bottom the same thing. And that will not change what the fraction value is. How are we going to work out the 500 divided by the 25? Well, what we could do is we could cover up the zero here and just work out what 50 divided by 25 is and then add the zero back on. 
So if you do 50 divided by 25, which is two, and then we add the zero back on, and that gives us 20 for our final answer. Let's now look at question number three. Pence cost 32 pence each, estimate the cost of 14 pence. So normally, if you are not estimating, you would do 32 pence times 14. But as we're estimating, we're going to round the 32 pence and the 14 pence to 1SF. So 32 to 1SF is 30 times by 14 to 1SF, which is 10. And that gives us 300. So that's 300 pence. We could change that to pounds and divide by 100, and that gives us three pounds. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I hope to see you next time.